Blessed is our God, O Lord, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, give our hope, Lord, to thee. Heavenly King, O God, for the Spirit of Truth, whatever present to us, all things, but treasury of every good and bestower of life, come and dwell, nothing cleanses from every stain and sever, so so good one. He is blighted as for the Holy God, Holy Mary, Holy Mortal Mercy, us for the God, Holy Mary, Holy Mortal Mercy, us for the God, Holy Mary, Holy Mortal Mercy, us for the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now, Lord, and to the ages of ages of men. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy Man, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now, Lord, and to the ages of ages of men. Our Father, which art in heaven, tell be thy name, the kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the mm-hmm. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship before now, before our King God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, the King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Himself, Christ, the King and our God. Have mercy me, O God, according to the great mercy and according to the multitude of the compassion of God of my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is over before me. You can see all my sin and done evil before thee. That the Lord to be justified in the words and prevail in our judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and the sins of my mother bear me. For behold, I was love truth, the hidden and secret things of the wisdom that shall be manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with as if I should be made clean, thou shalt wash me, and I should be made whiter in snow, that I may be to hear joy and gladness of one to be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew thy spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation with the governing spirit. Establish me. I shall teach transgressors of ways and name. God, they shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, I shall open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with whole offerings. Thou shalt not be pleased. The sacrifice of my God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, a humble God, one not despised, do good. O Lord, and I give pleasure on the sign. Let walls of Jerusalem be builded, and shall be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the relation of whole offerings, and shall they offer the looks upon thine altar. Blessed are the lameness and way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that search out his testimonies with the whole heart. Should they seek after him, for they that work iniquity have not walked in his ways. Thou hast enjoined thy commandments, that we should keep them most diligently, whether my ways are directed to keep thy statutes, and shall I not be ashamed when I look on all thy commandments, I will confess thee with our brightness of heart. When I have learned the judgments of thy righteousness, I will keep thy statutes, do not utterly forsake me. Wherewithal shall the young man correct his way by keeping thy word with my whole heart of his daughter to thee? Cast me not away from thy commandments, and my heart of hate thy sins, that I may not sin against thee. Blessed are thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes with my lips, for I declare all the judgments of thy mouth, and the way thy testimonies have I found the light as much as in no riches. On thy commandments will I ponder, and I will understand thy ways, on thy statutes will I meditate, and I will not forget thy words, give reward unto thy servant, quicken me, and I will keep thy words, and veil my eyes, and I shall perceive wondrous things out of thy law. I must sojourn on the earth, hide not for me, thy commandments, my soul hath long to desire thy judgments at all times. Thou shalt rebuke the proud, cursed are all day, to decline from thy commandments, remove from me reproach and contempt, for I thy testimonies have I sought for princes, Saturday spake against me, but thy servant pondered on thy statutes, for thy testimonies are in my meditation, and thy statutes are my counselors. My soul hath grieved unto the earth, quicken me according to thy word, my ways have I declared, and no one me, teach me thy statutes, make me to understand the way of thy statutes, and I will ponder on the wondrous works. My soul left slumbered from despondency, strengthen me with thy words. Remove from me the way of unrighteousness with thy laws. Mercy me, I have chosen the way of truth, and I have chosen something I have forgotten. I plead to thy testimonies, O Lord, put me not to shame in the way of thy commandments. If I run with us, enlarge my heart, set before me for a law, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I will seek after it continually. Give me understanding, and I will search out thy law, and I will keep it with my whole heart. Guide me in the path of thy commandments, where I desire to incline my heart into thy testimonies, and not into covetousness. Turn away my eyes, and I may not see vanity. Quicken thou me in thy way. Establish for thy servant thine oracle. I fear thee. Remove my reproach, which I feared, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy commandments, and thy righteousness quicken me. Let thy mercy come also upon me, O Lord, even thy salvation according to thy words. So shall I give an answer to them that reproach me, for I have hoped in thy words. And take not utterly out of my mouth the word of truth, for in thy judgments have I hoped. So shall I keep thy law continually, forever, and unto the ages of ages. And I welcome spaciousness, for after thy commandments have I sought, and I speak of thy testimonies before kings. And I was not ashamed, and I meditated on all thy commandments, which I greatly loved. And I lifted up my hands to thy commandments, which I have loved, and I pondered on thy statutes. Remember thy words to thy servant, where enough made me to hope this has comforted me in my humiliation, for thine oracle hath quickened me, the proud have transgressed exceedingly, but from thy law have not declined. I remember thy judgments of old, the Lord, and was comforted, this one as he took cold upon you, because of the sinners who forsake thy law. Thy statutes were my songs in the place of my sojourning, I remember thy name in the night, O Lord, and I kept thy law. This hath happened to me, because I suffered thy statutes to our. 
Our my personal the Lord, I said that I would keep thy law and treat it like unto with my whole heart. Have mercy on me according to thy word. I have thought on thy ways and return my feet back to thy testimonies. I made ready and I was not troubled that I might keep thy commandments. The cords of sinners have entangled me by thy law, have I not forgotten? At midnight I rose to give thanks unto thee for the judgments of thy righteousness. I am in particular with all that my fear thee, and with him that keep thy commandments. The earth, the Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statutes. And I'll still graciously with thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word, goodness and discipline and knowledge. Teach thou me, for in thy commandments have I believed. Before I was humble, I transgress. Therefore, these things have I kept. Thou art good, O Lord, and thy goodness. Teach me thy statutes. Multiplied against me up in the unrighteousness of the proud, but as for me with my whole heart, while I search out thy commandments, cord of like milk is their heart, but as for me, and thy law, my meditate is good for me, that thou was humble me, that I might learn thy statutes, law, thy mouth is better to me than thousands of the golden silver. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, my own over not to be ages of ages of men. Thy hands have made me a fashion, may give me understanding. I will learn the commandments. Say that fear thee shall see me be glad, for in the words of his up my hope. I have known, O Lord, that I judge unto righteousness, and with truth has also humbled me. Let the only mercy be my comfort according to thy saying, and to thy servant. Let the compassion come upon me, and I shall live, for thy law is my meditation. Let the proud be put to shame, for unjustly have they transgressed against me. But as for me, I will ponder on thy commandments. Let those that fear thee return unto me, and those that know thy testimonies, let my heart be blameless, and thy statutes said, I may not be put to shame. My soul fainted for thy salvation. On thy words, if I set my hope, mine eyes are grown dim with waiting for thine oracle. They say, When will thou comfort me? For I have become like a wine skin in the frost, yet thy statutes have I not forgotten. How many are the days of thy servant? When will thou execute judgment for me? And them that persecute me, transgressors have told me fables, but they are not like a law. Lord, all the commandments are truth without a cause, and persecuted me, and that they do thou help me. They will align me to bend me on the earth, but as for me, I forsook not the commandments according to thy mercy, quicken me, and I'll keep the testimonies of thy mouth forever, O Lord, the word abideth in heaven unto generation, and generation is thy truth. That was laid the foundation of the earth, and it abideth by thine ordinance, that the day abide for all things of thy servants of thy law, had not been my meditation, and should I perish to my humiliation, I will never forget thy statutes from them as I forgive me. I am thine, save me for other thy statutes of I saw sinners have waited for me to destroy me with the testimonies of I understood of all perfection, have I seen the outcome exceeding spaces of thy commandment. How I have loved thy law, O Lord, to hold it long, it is my meditation above mine enemies, as well made me wise, and I commandment for it is mine forever, above all that teach me have gained understanding, for the testimonies are my meditation, above mine elders have received understanding, for after the commandments have I sought, from every way that is evil have I restrained my feet, that I may keep thy words from the judgments of I not decline, for thou set a law for me, how sweet to my palate are these things, more sweet than honey to my mouth, from the commandments have I gained understanding, therefore I have hated every way of unrighteousness. Thy law is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path, so I have sworn and resolved that I would keep the judgments of thy righteousness, I was humbled exceedingly, the Lord quicken me according to thy word, the free will offering on my mouth, being that I'm pleased to receive the Lord and teach me in adjustments. My soul is in my hands continually, and I love and I've forgotten. The sinners have set a snare for me from the commandment of an not straight. I've inherited the testimonies forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I've inclined my heart to perform these statutes forever as a recompense. Transgressors have been hated by the law of my love, my helper, my protector art thou, and the words of beset my hope depart from me, ye evil doers, and I'll search out the commandments of my God. Hold me according to thy saying, and quicken me, and turn me not away in shame from mine expectation. Help me, and I shall be saved, and I will meditate on thy statutes continually, continually that was set up not, all to depart from thy statutes, for unrighteousness is their inward thought. I have reckoned as transgressors of the sinners of the earth. Therefore, I have allowed thy testimony stand on my flesh for the fear of thee, for the judgments of my afraid I have wrought judgment and righteousness. I give me not up unto them that wrong me, receive thy servant unto good, and let not the proud falsely accuse me. Mine eyes have failed with waiting for thy salvation, for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according to thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant, give me understanding, and I shall know thy testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have dispersed thy law. Therefore, I have allowed thy commandments more than golden topaz. Therefore, I have reckoned myself according to all thy commandments. If you pray that, un that is unrighteous, if I hate it. Wonderful are thy testimonies. Therefore, if my soul searches them out, the unfolding of the words will give light and understanding unto the I will come my mouth and drew in my breath for a long for the commandments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Well, thou never unto the ages of ages of men, look upon me and have mercy and me according to the judgment of them that love thy name. My steps to thou direct according to thy saying, let no iniquity have dominion over me, deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy commandments, make thy peace to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Mine eyes support forth streams of waters, because I kept not thy law. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright thy judgments, thou ordained as thy testimonies, exceeding righteousness and truth. My zeal for thee have made me to pine away, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thine oracle is fried with fire to the uttermost, and thy servant have loved it. I am young, and it comes to this nothing, yet they study it, have I not forgotten. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is truth. Tribulations and necessities of family, thy commandments are the meditation, thy testimonies are righteousness forever. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I have cried with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord, and I will seek out thy statutes. I have cried to thee, save me, and I will keep thy testimonies. I rose in the dead of night, and I cried on the words of I set my hope. Mine eyes are going whip, and 
my mine eyes woke before the morning that I might meditate on thy sayings. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to thy mercy, according to thy judgment, quicken me. They have drawn nigh thy law, and persecute me, but from thy law, they far removed. Near art thou, O Lord, and all thy ways are true from the beginning of my known. But the testimonies that thou hast founded and forever, behold my humiliation, and rescue me, for thy law have not forgotten. Judge my cause, and redeem me, for thy words sake, quicken me. Far from sinners is salvation, for they have not sought out of thy statutes. Thy compassions are many, O Lord, according to thy judgment, quicken me. Many are they that persecute me, and afflict me from thy testimonies, that may not decline, to be held men acting foolishly, and I pine away, because they kept not their sayings. Behold, how I love the commandments, O Lord, and thy mercy, quicken me. The beginning of the words is truth, and, just, and all the judgments of thy righteousness endure forever. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, and because of thy heart, my, because of my thy words, my heart hath been afraid. I will rejoice in thy sayings as one upon the day's spoil, and righteousness I'll be hated and poor, but thy law of thy love seven times a day have I praise thee for the judgments of thy righteousness. Much peace have thee that love thy law, for them there is no stumbling block. They waited thy salvation, O Lord, and thy commandments have I loved. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and have done them exceedingly. I have kept the commandments and thy testimonies for all my ways are before thee, O Lord. Let my supplication draw nigh before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle. Give me understanding. Let my petition come before thee, O Lord, according to thine oracle. Deliver me. My lips shall pour forth to him when I will stop me in thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy sayings, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thy hand be for me, for I have chosen thy commandments. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy laws, my meditation. My soul shall live and shall praise thee, and thy judgments shall help me. I have gone astray like a sheep that has lost to seek thy servants, for I have not forgotten thy commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to be ages of ages. Amen. Amen. I rise today through our mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through the belief in the threeness, through, the, through confession of the oneness towards the Creator. I rise today through the strength of Christ with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion and his burial through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment day. I rise today through the strength of the love of cherubim and obedience of angels in the service of the archangels, in hope of resurrection to meet, to meet with reward in prayers of patriarchs, in predictions of prophets, in preachings of apostles, in faiths of confessors, in innocence of holy virgins, in deeds of righteous men. I rise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's hosts to secure me against snares of demons, against temptations of vice, against inclinations of nature, against everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and at hand alone and in the crowd. Christ to protect me this day against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that there may come abundance of reward. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me. Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ where I lie, Christ where I sit, Christ where I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who, in every, of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through the belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness towards the Creator. Salvation is of the Lord, salvation of the, of the Lord. Salvation is of Christ, may thy salvation, Lord, be ever with us. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate to the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the Scriptures, and ascended into the heavens, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified and is plagued by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Peace be loved to despot, holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us, holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us, holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities, for the name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom cometh in the middle of the night, and blessed is that servant whom he shall find watching. And again, unworthy is he whom he shall find heedless. 
Beware, therefore, my soul, lest thou be born down with sleep, lest thou be given up to death and be shut off from the kingdom. But rather rise thyself and cry, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O our God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As thou bringest to mind the most fearful day, rouse thyself, O my soul, and be vigilant. And kindle thy dark and lamp, and with oil make it radiant. For thou knowest not when thou wilt suddenly hear that voice that shall cry out, Behold, thou, thy bridegroom, has come to thee. Mark then, O my soul, lest, like those five foolish virgins, thou sleep and remain without knock, uh, sleep and remain without vainly knocking upon the door, but endure in all watchfulness, so that thou mightest meet Christ our God with rich oil, and that he might grant unto thee the fair divine bridal chamber of his glory evermore, both now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Thee do we entreat, O virgin, who art the impregnable wall and stronghold of our salvation, confound the counsels of adversaries, <coughs> change the sorrow of thy people into joy. Recall thy world, uphold the dominion of the pious, intercede for the peace of the world. For thou, O Theotokos, art our hope. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have Receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour, and God our life, toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, that God and God about their array, we may attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God, the word of prayer, the took us to do we magnify in the name of the Lord, Master, bless. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. <coughs> o Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, curiosity, ambition, and idle talk, give me now. But a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love bestow upon me, thy servant. Yea, O Lord King, grant me to see my own failings and not to condemn my brother for blessing her down to the ages of ages. O God, be gracious unto me, sinner. 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 O God, be gracious unto me, a 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 sinner, and have mercy on me. Dear Lord King, grant to see my own feelings, and not to condemn my brother, for bless her thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Thou, Holy Spirit, one God had one power of mercy on me, a sinner by the judgment which Thou knowest. Save me, that unworthy servant, for blessed art Thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord Almighty God of hosts and of all flesh, who dwells on high and lookest down on things that are lowly, who tries the hearts and reins, and clearly knows the hidden things of men, Thou beginning with an everlasting life, with whom there is no variableness, neither the shadow of turning. Do thou thyself, O immortal King, accept our entreaties which we offer unto thee from defiled lips at this present season of the night, taking boldness in the multitude of thy compassions and remitted transgressions in deed and word and thought, whether we have transgressed in knowledge or in ignorance, and cleanse and and cleanse us of every defilement of flesh and spirit, making us temples of the Holy Spirit, and grant that with and grant that we might pass through the whole night of this present season of the night with a vigilant heart and a sober mind, awaiting the coming of the radiant and manifest day of thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, wherein he shall come upon earth with glory as the judge of all to render unto each according to his deeds, that we be not found reclining and sleeping, but waking and upright in the working of his commandments, and ready to enter with him into the joy of the divine bridal chamber of his glory, where the sound of them that keep festival is unceasing, and where there is the inexpressible delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true light that enlighteneth and sanctifieth the whole world, and all creation praiseth thee unto the ages of ages. Amen. We be blessed, thou most high God and Lord of mercy, whoever worketh with us these great and unfathomable, glorious and extraordinary, whereof there is no number. 
who has given unto us sleep for rest from our infirmity and, re and for repose of our much living flesh. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our iniquities, but hast shown thy wanted love for men. And though we were prostrate in despair, thou hast raised us up to glorify thy dominion. Wherefore we beseech thine incomparable goodness, enlighten the eyes of our understanding, and raise our mind from the heavy sleep of slothfulness. Open our mouth and fill it with thy praise, that we may be able undistracted to sing and chant and give thanks unto thee, who art God glorified in all and by all. The beginning is Father, with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before King God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King and our God. I have lifted up my eyes to the mountains from whence cometh my help, my help cometh the Lord who hath made heaven and the earth. Give not that foot in a moving in, may he not slumber that keepeth thee. Behold, he shall not slumber, nor shall he sleep, he that keepeth Israel. The Lord shall keep thee, the Lord is thy shelter at thy right hand. The, shall, the sun shall not burn thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep thee from all evil, the Lord shall guard thy soul, the Lord shall keep thy coming in and thy going out from henceforth and forevermore. Behold, now bless ye the Lord, all ye, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that stand in the house from the of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. In the nights lift up your hands unto the holies and bless the Lord. The Lord bless thee out of Zion, he that made heaven and the earth. The glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Ex the despota, holy godly, mighty, holy, immortal, mercy on us, holy godly, mighty, holy, immortal, mercy on us, holy godly, mighty, holy, immortal, mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins, and master pardon our iniquities, holy will visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. There is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Keep thy servants in remembrance, O Lord, since thou art good, and do thou forgive their every sin in this life, for no man is without sin except for thee, who art able to grant rest even unto those who have departed hence. O thou who by the depths of thy wisdom dost provide all things out of love for man, and grantest unto all that which is profitable, only Creator, grant rest, O Lord, to the souls of thy servants, where in for in thee have they placed their hope, O our Creator and Fashioner and God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with the saints grant rest, O Christ, to the souls of thy servants, where there is neither pain nor sorrow nor sighing, but life unending, both now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. All we the generations call thee blessed. O Virgin Theotokos, for in thee he the uncontainable one, Christ our God, was pleased to be contained. Blessed are we also who have thee as protection for day and night, dost thou intercede for us, and the scepters of the kingdom are strengthened by thine entreaties. Wherefore, with him we cry to thee, rejoice, for full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Remember, O Lord, our fathers and brethren that have fallen asleep in the host in the in hope of the resurrection of eternal life, and all that have entered their days in piety and faith, and forgive their every transgression in which they have willingly or unwillingly transgressed in word or deed or thought, and make them to dwell in places of light and places of virgin and places of refreshment, where every pain, sorrow, and sighing is fled away, with a visitation like countenance, make glad all thy saints from ages past. Grant unto them and us thy kingdom and participation in thine ineffable and eternal good things and the enjoyment of thine endless and blessed life without the life, the resurrection, and the repose of thy servants that have fallen asleep, O Christ our God. And unto thee do we send up glory with thy Father who is without beginning in that all holy and good life fitting spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. Most glorious, ever virgin, blessed Theotokos, present our prayer to thy Son and our God, and pray that through thee he would save our souls. My hope is the Father, my refuge, the Son, my shelter, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, glory be to thee. Unto thee do I commit my every hope, O Mother of God. Guard me unto thy shelter. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us, for lacking as we are in all defense. This supplication do we sinners offer unto thee, our Master. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in thee have we placed all our trust. Be not wroth with us greatly, nor do thou remember our iniquities. But look upon us even now, since thou art compassionate. And do thou redeem us from our enemies, for thou art a God, we thy people. All the works of thy hands, and upon thy name have we called. 
both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Do thou open the portal of compassion unto us, the most blessed Theotokos. For hoping in thee, let us not fail, we pray. Through thee may we be delivered from adversities. For thou art the salvation of the Christian race. Glory to, Christ, God, hope, glory, to thee. glory to the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Master, bless. First, our true God, by the intercessions of His Holy Immaculate Mother, and His Holy Mother, by the supplications of the Venerable Glorious Prophet, the Holy Man, Baptist John, of our Holy Patron John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, Lord of Worker, of the Holy and Righteous, and the Sir God, Joachim and Anna, of our Righteous Father Benedict of Nursia, who is married, we keep, and of all the saints. May have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of man. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy. Father and Lord Bishop Demetrius. Lord have mercy. The sin of the eye and the Lord brother. Lord have mercy. For our absent fathers and brethren. Lord have mercy. For those that minister and have ministered unto us. Lord have mercy. For those that hate us and those that love us. Lord have mercy. For those that have enjoyed those the unworthy to pray Lord have mercy. For the release of captives. Lord have mercy. For the safety of those that travel by sea land. Lord have mercy. For those that are lying ill. Lord have mercy. Let us pray also for the abundance of the fruits of the earth. Lord have mercy. And for the soul of every Orthodox Christian. Lord have mercy. Let us bless the pious kings, the Orthodox bishops, the founders of this holy monastery, our parents, teachers, and all our fathers and brethren that have gone to their rest before us. The Orthodox here never repiously led to rest. The eternal be their memory. And let us say also for ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. The prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Light, he does for the Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All oh, Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship before thy before King God. O oh, come, let us worship before thy before Christ, our King and God. O oh, come, let us worship before thy before him, Christ, the King and our God. In the name of the God of Jacob, defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help from his sanctuary and out of sight. Let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine and thy holy offering. Let him fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart and fulfill thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation. And in the name of the Lord our God, shall we magnify the Lord fulfill thy request. Now have I known that the Lord has saved his anointed one. He will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. In mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and fallen, but we are risen and are set upright. O Lord, save the king and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the king shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart hast thou granted unto him, and hast not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness. Thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life for thee, and thou gavest him length of days and to ages of ages. Great is his glory in thy salvation, and glory and majesty to lay upon him. But thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever. Thou shalt gladden him in joy with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. 
Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies. Let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou wilt make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them sorely, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit will thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee. They have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their backs among those that are thy remnant. Thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength. We will sing and chant to thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Ispilaite Thespita, Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our peace, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for the name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, hold now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Say, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance, grant thou unto our monarchs victory over adversaries. And by the power of thy cross, do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thou who is raised up from the cross of thine own will, O Christ our God, do thou bestow thy compassions upon this, thy new commonwealth named after thee, gladdened with thy sovereign might, our most orthodox monarchs, and vouchsafe in victory over every adversary. And as thy help in war, may they possess a weapon of peace, a trophy invincible, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O dread protection, it cannot be put to shame, disdain not the good one, our entreaties, O all him Theotokos. Make steadfast the commonwealth of the orthodox, protect those whom thou hast enjoined to rule over us and grant them victory from on high. For thou hast given birth to God, Holy Blessed One. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for pious and Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We begin to pray for our Father, and now we should be Lord, have mercy. You see no the end, Lord, but if you can cry. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Be merciful, men, befriending God, our thou, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Glory to the Holy and Consubstantial and Life, creating an indivisible Trinity, always, now, and ever, into the ages of the ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will towards men. O Lord, thus will open my lips and my mouth to declare thy praise. O Lord, thus will open my lips and my mouth to declare thy praise. The Lord, why they multiply, that afflict me, many rise up against me, many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him, and is God, but thou, Lord, of my helper, may glory, and the lifter up of my head, I cried unto the Lord, with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain, I laid me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me, I will not be afraid, of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me, round about, arise, the Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all, without a cause of my enemies, that eat the sinner, so, so broken, salvation is of the Lord, and a blessing is upon thy people, I laid me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. The Lord rebuke me not in an anger, nor chasing me in thy wrath, for thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head is a heavy burden, and they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down unto the end all the day long, and went with downcast face, for my loins were filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly, I've roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, my groaning is not hid from thee, my heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light to mine eyes, if this is not with me, my friends and my neighbors do not against me and stood of my nearest again stood afar off and they that sought out of my soul used violence and they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftinesses all the day long did they meditate but as for me like a death man I heard them not and was as a speechless man and opened it not his mouth and I became as a man that heareth not and hath in his mouth no reproofs for in thee if I hoped O Lord thou wilt hearken unto me O Lord my God for I said let never mine enemies rejoice over me yea when my feet were shaken as men spake boastful words against me for I am ready for scourges my sorrow was continually before me for I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slander me, because I pursue goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I raise early at dawn, my soul I thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a lamb barren and untrodden and unfaltered? So in a sanctuary have we appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory, for thy mercy is better than lives. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands as with marrow and fatness, that my soul be filled and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at dawn, I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. 
My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me, but as for these in vain have they sought after my soul. They shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portion for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad, and God, every one shall be praised, that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped, that speak on just things, that the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper, and a shelter of thy wings shall I rejoice, my soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 all glory to the O God, alleluia, 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 glory to the O God, alleluia, 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 glory to the O God, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down and ear to my supplication, fulfilled with evils is my soul, and my life unto Hades I draw nigh. I am counted with him that go down into the pit, I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, and like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand, they leave me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thy anger made strong, and all the billows that are brought upon me, thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me in an abomination unto themselves, I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes are grown weak from poverty, I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in a grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth, and thy destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be made known, and that darkness, and that righteousness, and that land it is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, this I cast off my soul, and turn and face away from me, a poor man of mine, and troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled, and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and the terrors have sorely troubled me. They came around about me like water, all the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, mine acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee. Bow down, then ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, that youth shall be renewed as the eagles, the Lord will permit thee to mercy and execute a judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed, compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto thee will he be angered, and neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them at fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them at fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made. He hath remembered that we are dust, as for man his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth, for when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof, but the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength to perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man live and be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darknesses. O, have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember the days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creation of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness, for the name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me, and thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy mine enemies, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in a land of brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 all glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 all glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the Holy Church of God, and the, the, the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For this holy house, and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God, and to fear in, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. For our Father, and our Bishop Demetrius, Lord and his synodia, for the venerable presbyter, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Mercy. For this holy monastery, this town, for every city, town, and country, 
Spirit and the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray Lord to the have Lord. Mercy. For season of a weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray Lord to the Lord. Have mercy. For them that travel by sea and in air, for the sick, the afflicted, for captives, and their salvation, let us pray Lord to the have Lord. Mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, right, danger, and necessity, let us pray Lord to the have Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, Lord by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our O holy Immaculate, most, most blessed, glorious, that it doth us in the virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in our life unto Christ our Lord. For unto thee is all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Out of the night, my spirit awaketh at dawn unto thee, O God, for the commandments are light upon the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Learn righteousness, you that dwell upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Zeal shall lay hold upon an uninstructed people, now fire shall devour the adversaries. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Add more evils upon them, O Lord, add more evils upon them, better glorious upon the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let up through the bodily forms of the body, less powers, and to know that the can in material understanding, and receiving through the thrice holy hymn the illumination of the God and of three hypostases, let us cry out like the cherubim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the power of thy cross, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With all the heavenly hosts, let us cry out like the cherubim, unto him that is in the highest, as we send up the thrice holy praise. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the intercessions of the hierarch, have mercy on us. Well, now and ever, under the ages of ages, amen. Rising from sleep, we fall down before the O Good One, and we cry with the hymn of the angels unto the Almighty One. Holy, holy, holy art Thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. Praise ye the name of the Lord, O ye servants. Praise the Lord, ye that stand in the house of the Lord, and the courts of the house of our God. Praise ye the Lord, for the Lord is good. Chanted to his name, for it is good. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself, Israel for his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods. All that the Lord hath willed, he hath done in heaven, and on the earth, in the season, and all the abysses, bringing clouds up from the uttermost parts of the earth, lightnings for the rain hath he made. He bringeth winds out of his treasuries. He smote the firstborn of Egypt from man and the beast. He sent forth signs and marvels in the midst of the O Egypt, on Pharaoh, and on all his servants. He smote many nations and slew mighty kings, Saon, king of the Amorites, and Og, king of the land of Basan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. And he gave their land for and an inheritance, and an inheritance for Israel, his people. O Lord, I name endureth forever, and I memorial unto generation and generation. For the Lord will judge his people, and because of his servants shall he be comforted. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the works of the hands of men. They have a mouth but shall not speak, eyes have they and shall not see, ears have they and shall not hear, nor is there any breath in their mouth. Let those that make them become like unto them, and all that put their trust in them, O house of Israel, bless you the Lord, O house of Aaron, bless you the Lord, O house of Levi, bless you the Lord, ye that fear the Lord, bless you the Lord. Blessed is the Lord out of Zion, who dwelleth in Jerusalem. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone hath wrought great wonders, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that made the heavens with understanding, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that established the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone hath made great lights, for his mercy endureth forever, the sun for the dominion of the day, for his mercy endureth forever, the moon and the stars for the dominion of the night, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote Egypt with their firstborn, for his mercy endureth forever, and led Israel through the midst of, um, midst of them, for his mercy endureth forever, with a strong hand and a lofty arm, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that divided the Red Sea into parts, for his mercy endureth forever, and led Israel through the midst thereof, for his mercy endureth forever, and overthrew Pharaoh and his host in the Red Sea, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endureth forever. To him that smote great kings, for his mercy endureth forever. And slew mighty kings, for his mercy endureth forever. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endureth forever. And Og, king of the land of Asan, for his mercy endureth forever. And gave their land for in an inheritance, for his mercy endureth forever. And an inheritance for Israel his, servant, Israel, his servant, for his mercy endureth forever. For in our humiliation, the Lord remembered us, for his mercy endureth forever. And redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thing, he that giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. 
By the waters of Babylon there we sat down and we wept, and we remembered Sion upon the willows in the midst thereof. Do we hang our instruments? For there they that had taken us captive asked us for words of song, and they that had led us away asked us for him, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Sion. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand be forgotten, let my tongue cleave to my throat. If I remember, remember thee not, if I said not Jerusalem, above all others ahead of my joy, remember, O Lord, the sons of Edom in a day of Jerusalem, who said, Lay waste, lay waste to her, even to the foundations thereof. O daughter of Babylon, the wretched one, blessed shall he be, who shall reward thee wherewith thou rewarded us blessed shall he be who shall seize and dash thine infants against the rock glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit Lord now and over unto the ages of ages amen I will confess to you Lord of my whole heart and before angels of light chanted to thee for thou hast heard all the words of my mouth I will worship toward the holy temple and confess thy name for thy mercy and for thy truth for thou hast magnified by thy holy name above all that it is. And what day, once every day I call upon thee, quickly hearken to me, thou shalt abundantly endow my soul with thy strength. For let all the kings of the earth, the Lord, confess thee, for they have heard all the words of thy mouth. And they let them sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For the Lord is exalted yet on lowly things. He looketh in things softly. He knoweth from afar. Though I should walk in the midst of affliction, thou shalt quicken me against the wrath of mine enemies. How shalt stretch forth thy hands, and thy right hand has saved me. <clears throat> the Lord shall give recompense in my behalf. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain at the work of thy hands. The Lord, thou hast proved me, thou knowest me, thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou hast discerned my thoughts from afar, my path and my lot has thou traced out. Thou hast foreseen all my ways, for there is no guile in my tongue. Lord, thou behold, Lord, thou knowest all things, the last and the first. Thou hast fashioned me, thou hast laid thy hand upon me. Thy knowledge is too wonderful for me, it is mighty, I cannot attain it to it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit and from thy presence? Whether shall I flee? If I go up into heaven, thou art there. If I go down to Hades, thou art present there. If I take up my wings towards the dawn and make mine abode in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there thy hand shall guide me and thy right hand shall hold me. And I said, Surely darkness shall tread me down, and light, night shall be turned into light, and mighty light, for darkness will not be darkness with thee, and night shall be as bright as the day, as is the darkness thereof. Even so shall the light thereof be. <clears throat> for thou hast possessed my reins, O Lord, thou hast hoping me from my mother's womb, I will confess thee, for awesomely are thy wondrous, marvelous are thy works, and my soul knoweth it right well. My bone is not hid from thee, which thou madest in secret, nor my substance for the nethermost parts of the earth, my being, while it was still unformed, thine eyes did see, and in thy book shall all men be written. Day by day they are formed, when as yet there are there be none of them, but to me exceedingly honorable are thy friends, O Lord, the principalities are made exceedingly strong. I will count them, they shall be multiplied more than the sand. I awoke and I am still with thee, surely thou wilt slay the sinners of God, men of blood, depart from me. For thou wilt say concerning their thoughts and in vain shall they take thy cities. As from them I hate thee, O Lord, have I not hated them? And because of thine enemies have I not pined away? With perfect hatred have I hated them? They reckon enemies with me. Prove me, O God, and know my heart, and examine me, and know my paths, and see if the way of iniquity be in me, and guide me in the way everlasting. Rescue me, O Lord, from the evil man and from the unjust man. Deliver me, who have devised injustice in their hearts all the day long. They have arrayed themselves for wars. They have whetted their tongue like that of a serpent. The venom of asps is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hand of the sinner. Rescue me from unjust men who have devised to mine, undermine my steps. The proud have hit a snare for me. With cords that they spread a snare for my feet. Stumbling blocks in their paths that they set for me. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God. Give ear, O Lord, unto the voice of my supplication. Lord, our Lord, thou strength of my salvation. Thou hast overshadowed my head in a day of battle because of my desire, O Lord, give me not up unto the sinner. They have taken counsel against me. Forsake me not, lest they should be exalted. As for the head of those that encircle me, the mischief of their lips shall cover them. Coals shall fall upon them, and fire shall I cast them down. And they shall not stand in afflictions. A babbling man shall not prosper on the earth. Evil shall hunt an unjust man to his destruction. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the poor and the justice of the paupers. <clears throat> Surely the righteous shall confess thy name, and the upright shall dwell in thy presence. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to God. Let him mercy, let him mercy, let him mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord, I have cried unto thee. Hearken unto me. Attend to the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee. Let my prayer be set forth as incense before thee, as the, the, the lifting up of my hands as an evening <laughs> sacrifice. Set, O Lord, a watch before my mouth and a door of enclosure round about my lips. And incline not my heart into words of evil to make excuses with excuses and sins with men that work iniquity and I want to join with the chosen the righteous man will chasten me with mercy and reprove me for as for the oil of the sinner let it not anoint my head for yet more is my prayer in the presence of their pleasures swallowed up near the rock of their judges men they shall hear my
my words, for they be sweetened. As a cloud of earth is broken upon the earth, so are their bones been scattered nigh to Hades. For unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, are mine eyes, in thee have I hope. Take not my soul away, keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the stumbling blocks, and them that work iniquity. The sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I pass by. With my voice unto the Lord have I cried. With my voice unto the Lord have I made supplication. I will pour up before him my supplication, mine affliction before him will I declare. When my spirit was fainting within me, then thou knewest my paths. In this way, when I walked, they hid for me a snare. I looked upon my right hand and beheld, and there was none that did know me. Flight had failed me, and there is none that watcheth out for my soul. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my hope, my portion art thou in the land of the living. Attended to my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, until thou shalt reward me. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication and thy truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified, for the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth, he hath set me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent, within me my heart is troubled, I remember the days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creation of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsteth after thee, like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way when I should walk, for in thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of a brightness, for thy name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy mine enemies, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, put now and over unto the ages of ages of men. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. O Queen of Christ, when thine Immaculate Mother beheld thee stretched out upon the cross, as a dead man she cried out, My son called beginningless with the Father and Comforter. What is this ineffable and dread dispensation whereby thou hast saved the creature wrought by thine own hands, O Master most merciful? Exalt ye the Lord our God and worship the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. O friend of man, we worship the wood of thy divine cross, for thou who art truly the life of all things was nailed upon it. O Savior to paradise, is thou admit the thief that came to thee in faith, who confessing thee remember me, O my Lord, who granted delight eternal. Like him do thou receive us who cry out, We all have sinned against thy compassion. Yet do not overlook us, O most o merciful friend of man. Glory mm. to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever the ages of ages. <clears throat> The ewe lamb, when she saw thee, the lamb that was suspended, nailed upon the tree of the cross, miss the thieves, the word and saviour, and pierced with the spear in thy pure side. Maternally she mourned and wailed aloud, O my Jesus, sweet son, tell me what is this most strange and terrible mystery? How can the uncircumscribable God thus be now covered up by a grave? Unspeakable is the deed. Leave me not, my, leave me not, thy mother alone, O long suffering Lord. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the Lord my God, who teacheth my hands for battle and my fingers for war. My mercy, my refuge, my helper, my deliverer. My defender is he, and him have I hoped, who subjected my peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that thou art made known unto him, or the son of man that thou takest account of him? Man is like in the vanity, his days like a shadow pass away. O Lord, bow down the heavens, and come down, and touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Flash forth lightning, and thou shalt scatter them. Send forth thine arrows, and thou shalt trouble them. Send forth thy hand from on high, rescue and deliver me from many waters from the hands of the sons of aliens, whose mouth is spoken vanity, their right hand is the right hand of unrighteousness. O God, a new song shall I sing unto thee, with the psaltery of ten strings shall I chant unto thee. 
who givest salvation unto kings, who redeemeth David thy servant from the evil sword. Deliver me and rescue me from the hand of the sons of aliens, whose mouth is spoken vanity, and their right hand is the right hand of unrighteousness, whose sons are like new plants, strongly planted in their youth, their daughters prettified and lavishly adorned like unto a temple. Their garners are full, bursting forth with all manner of store. Their sheep are abundant and young, multiplying in their gateways. Their oxen are fat. There is no breach of wall, nor any passage, nor any outcry in their streets. They have called the people blessed, which fareth us, but blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. I will exalt thee, O my God, my King, and I will bless thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and exceedingly be praised, and of his greatness there is no end. Generation and generation shall praise thy works, thy power shall they declare. Of the majesty, the glory of thy holiness shall they speak, and they shall tell of thy wonders. And the power of thine awesome deeds shall they relate, and they shall tell of thy majesty. The memory of the mouth through thy goodness shall they pour forth, and in thy righteousness shall they rejoice. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his compassions are over all his works. Let all thy works, O Lord, give praise to thee, and let thy righteous ones bless thee. Of the glory of thy kingdom shall they speak, and shall tell of thy dominion, to make thy dominion known to the sons of men, and the glory of the majesty of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom is the kingdom of all the ages, and thy sovereignty is in every generation, generation. Faithful is the Lord in all his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord upholdeth all that are fallen, and setteth up all that are broken down. The eyes of all look to thee with hope, and thou gavest them their food in due season. Thou openest thy hand, and fillest every living thing with thy favor. Righteous is the Lord in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all that call upon him, to all that call on him in truth. The will of them that fear him shall he do, and their supplication shall he hear, and he shall save them. The Lord preserveth all the loving, but all the sinners shall he utterly destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. For the mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord my life. I will chant in my God for as long as I have my being. Trust ye not in princes and the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. His spirit shall go forth, and he shall return into his earth, and that day all his thoughts shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who hath made heaven and the earth and the sea and all that is therein, who keepeth truth unto eternity, executeth judgment for the wrong, who giveth food unto the hungry. The Lord looseth the feathers, the Lord maketh the wise the blind, the Lord setteth the right the fallen, the Lord loveth the righteous, the Lord preserveth the proselytes. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and widow, and the way of sinners shall he destroy. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, thy God of sign unto generation and generation. Praise ye the Lord, for psalm is a good thing. Let praise be sweet unto our God. The Lord buildeth up Jerusalem. He shall gather together the dispersed of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth their fractures together. He numbereth the multitude of the stars, and calleth them all by name. Great is our Lord, and great is his strength, and of his understanding there is no measure. The Lord lifteth up the meek, but humbleth sinners to the earth. Begin your song to the Lord with thanksgiving, chant unto God with the harp. To him that covered the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth who maketh grass to grow in the mountains and green herb for the service of man, who giveth to the beasts their food and to the younglings of the ravens which call upon him. He shall not delight in the strength of a horse, nor in the legs of a man as he well pleased. The Lord is well pleased in them that fear him and in them that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord of Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath strengthened the bars of, his gate, of thy gates. He hath blessed thy sons within thee. He bringeth peace upon thy borders, and with the fatness of the weed he filleth thee. He sendeth his sayings unto the earth, where swiftly runneth his word. He giveth his snow like wool, the mist he sprinkleth like ashes. He hurls his ice like morsels, who shall stand before his cold. He shall send forth his word, and melt him as wind shall blow, and the water shall flow. He declareth his words unto Jacob with statutes and judgments to Israel. He hath not dealt so with every nation, nor hath he shown his judgments unto them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the highest, praise him all ye his angels, praise him all ye his hosts. Praise him, O sun and moon, praise him, all ye stars and light. Praise him, ye heaven of heavens, and thy water that art above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he spake, and they came to be, he commanded, and they were created. 
He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He has set an ordinance, and it shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all ye abysses, fire, hail, snow, ice, blast of tempests which perform his word, the mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, the beasts and all the cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all the judges of the earth, young men and virgins, elders with the younger, let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of him alone. His praises above the earth and heaven, he shall exalt the horn of his people. This is the hymn for all his saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praises in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance with the timbrel and the psalter. Let them chant unto him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their throat, and two-edged sword shall be in their hands, to do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the peoples, to bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with manacles of iron, to do among them the judgment that is written, this glory shall be to all his saints. Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to the multitude of his greatness, praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp, praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute, Praise him with tuneful symbols. Praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Our hopeful Lord, glory be to thee. Again, again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us a God by the grace. Call into remembrance our own holy man, Kenneth, the most blessed, glorious, let it take us in the words of Mary to all the saints. Let us commit ourselves to one another and all our life unto Christ our God. For a good and man befriending God our thou, and unto the divis and thy glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Stretched out upon the cross, thou wast slain, O Christ Savior, to slay the foe and serpent, the author of evil, and them whom the serpents bite, had once slain, thou didst make to live. Hence I pray thee, though my soul is dead and most wretched, make it live again, as it in prayer and with fasting doth earnestly look to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Stretch out, stretch out upon the cross, thou wast slain, O Christ Saviour, to slay the foe and serpent, the author of evil. And then whom the serpents bite, had once slain, thou didst make to live. Hence I pray thee, though my soul is dead and most wretched, make it live again, as it in prayer and with fasting doth earnestly look to thee. Put now and ever under the ages of ages, amen. The you lamb when she be the you when she beheld thee, her own lamb suspended upon the cross between two condemned malefactors. O Christ, as she wept, she cried out and wailed in her bitter grief. My beloved child, what is this strange sight? We pray, pray, tell me. This shall be acknowledged as the life of the whole world. O my virgin mother. Father, into the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now, and into the ages of ages of men. Blessed is the man that hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stood in the way of sinners, nor sat in the seat of the pestilence, and for this will is rather in the law of the Lord, and his law will he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree which is planted by the streams of the waters, which shall bring forth its fruit in its season, and its leaf shall not fall, and all things whatsoever he may do shall prosper. Not so are the ungodly, not so, but rather they are like the chaff, which the wind that throw away from the face of the earth. For this reason shall the ungodly not stand up in judgment, nor sinners in the counsel of the righteous, for the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, and the way of the ungodly shall perish. Why the heathen raged, and the people have meditated empty things. The kings of the earth were aroused, and rulers were assembled together against the Lord and against his Christ. Let us break their bonds asunder, and let us cast away their yoke from us. He that dwelleth in the heaven shall laugh in the scorn, and the Lord shall deride them. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and in his anger shall he trouble them. But as for me, I was established as king by him upon Sion, this holy mountain, proclaiming the commandments of the Lord. The Lord said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, ask of me, and I will give thee the nations for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt hurt them with a rod of iron, thou shalt shatter them like a potter vessels and now O ye kings understand be instructed all ye that judge the earth serve ye the Lord with fear and rejoice in him with trembling lay hold of instruction lest at any time the Lord be angry and he perish in the righteous way when quickly his wrath be kindled blessed are all that have put their trust in him 
O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me many rise up against me many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him in this God, but thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain, and laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousand of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou was smitten all without a cause of mine enemy, to teeth the sinner shall so broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and blessing is upon thy people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Well, now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. When I called upon thee, O God of my righteousness, thou didst hearken unto me in mine affliction. Thou hast enlarged me, have compassion on me, and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye be slow of heart? Why do ye love vanity and seek after falsehood? Know also that the Lord has made wonders his holy one. The Lord will hearken unto me when I cry unto him. Be angry and sin not, feel compunction upon your beds, for which you say in your heart, sacrifice is sacrifice of righteousness and hope in the Lord. Many say, Who will show unto, one good, show unto us good things? The light of thy countenance, O Lord, have been signed upon us. That was given gladness to my heart from the fruit of the wheat, wine, and oil, are they multiplied in peace in the same place. I shall lay me down and sleep, for thou, O Lord, alone has made me to dwell in hope. Under my words, give ye, O Lord, hear my cry, attend to the voice of my supplication, O my King, O my God, for unto thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning shalt thou hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and thou shalt look upon me. For not a God of this iniquity art thou. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgressors abide before thine eyes. Thou hast hated all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy. Of them that speak a lie, a man that is bloody and deceitful, so the Lord of poor. But as for me and the multitude of thy mercy, shall I go into thy house? I shall worship toward thy holy temple in fear of thee, O Lord. Guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies make straight my way before thee. For in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, where their tongues have they spoken deceitfully. Judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness. Cast them out, for they have embittered thee, O Lord, and let all them be glad at hope in thee. They shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them. And all shall glory in thee that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous, O Lord, as with a shield of thy good pleasure, as thou crowned us. Lord, thou, O Lord, thou, O Lord, rebuke me not in any anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is troubled greatly. But thou, O Lord, how long? Turn to me again, O Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for thy mercy's sake, for in death there is none that is mindful of thee, and in Hades who will confess thee. I toiled in my groaning every night while I washed my bed with tears, while I watered my couch through wrath of my eye become troubled. I have grown old among all my enemies. Depart from me, all ye that work vanity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping, the Lord hath heard my supplication, the Lord hath received my prayer. Let all mine enemies be greatly put to shame and be troubled. Let them be turned back and speedily greatly put to shame. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages of men. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my hope. Save me from them that persecute me, and do thou deliver me, lest at any time like a lion he seize my soul, when there is none to redeem me nor to save. O Lord my God, if I have done this, that there be injustice in my hands. If I pay back evil to them that rendered evil unto me, then let me fall back empty from mine enemies. Then let the enemy pursue my soul and take it, and let him tread down my life into to the earth and my glory, let them bring down into the dust. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger, exalt thyself to the furthest boundaries of thine enemies, and arouse thyself, O Lord my God, in the commandment which I was enjoined. The congregation of people shall surround thee, and for their sakes return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to mine innocence within me. Let the wickedness of sinners be ended, and do thou guide the righteous man. O God, that searches out the hearts and reigns. Righteous is my help from God, who saveth them that are upright of heart. God is a judge that is righteous, strong and forbearing, and inflicteth not wrath every day. Unless ye be converted, his glittering sword shall he furbish. He hath meant his bow, and hath made it ready. And on it hath he made ready the instruments of death. His arrows for them that reach off of thee hath he perfected. Behold, he is in travail with unrighteousness. He hath conceived toil and brought forth iniquity. He opened a pit and dug it, and he shall fall into the hole which he hath made. His toil shall return upon his own head, and upon his own pate shall his unrighteousness come down. I will give praise unto the Lord according to his righteousness, and I will chant unto the name of the Lord Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth, for thy magnificence is lifted higher by the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings shalt thou perfect praise because of thine enemies to destroy the enemy and avenger. For I will behold the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast founded. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels with glory and honor. Hast thou crowned him and thou hast set him over the works of thy hands? All things hast thou subjected under his feet, sheep and all oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, the things that pass through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God, our hope, O Lord. Glory be to thee. Amen.
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by the Lord, grace. Lord have mercy. Call into remembrance our all holy man, the most blessed Lord, let us have the Lord, 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 Mary, with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another in our life unto Christ our God. Lord, Lord. Blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> On this auspicious day, let us now loudly sound trumpets of tuneful song while passing through this time of holy abstinence, and let us cry out in jubilation. Abstinence hath made our life blossom forth in the world entire, and hath fully withered up the dark death of intemperance. O Christ, the word throughout this divine fast, preserve us, thy servants, by the power of the cross. Glory to the Father and Son. Son and Holy Spirit, on this auspicious day, let us now loudly sound trumpets of tuneful song, while passing through this time of holy abstinence, and let us cry out in jubilation. Abstinence hath made our life blossom forth in the world entire, and hath fully withered up the dark death of intemperance. O Christ, the word throughout this divine fast, Preserve us, thy servants, by the power of thy cross. O now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. O most compassionate, freely didst thou endure, O most dishonored death, crucified on the cross, which as thy mother saw Christ as she grieved and was sorely wounded. For her heart was rent with grief, and she mourned thee maternally. <coughs> By your holy purse to thee, for thy tender compassion's sake. Take pity, save the world in thy mercy, who takest away its sin, O Savior. Have mercy, me, O God, according to the great mercy, and according to the multitude of the compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin never before me. Against the only be sin, and done this evil before thee. That thou might have justified the words of a veil, and thou art judge. Behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins of my mother bear me. Behold, thou love truth, hidden secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou may manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, thou shalt be clean, thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness, the bones will be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn their face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from, from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in the righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare their praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it open offering, thou shalt not be pleased. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. To good Lord, make a pleasure in his sign, let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the oblation of open offerings. Then shalt thou for bullets for that altar. Save, O God, thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. By the intercession of our holy man, Kira, the Eta, Dogos, and the Virgin Mary, by the power of the angels, by the cross, by the protection of the heavenly bodies, by the power of the angels, 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 by the power by their holy intercession, O uh, Christ God, have mercy and save us. Of all thy saints, we receive thee, thou only greatly merciful God, hearken unto us sinners who pray unto thee, and have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thy mercy and compassion and love for men of the only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy own holy and good and life, bearing spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, all ye people, let us sing a song to Christ God, who divided the sea and made a way for the people which he had brought up out of the bondage of Egypt, for he is glorified. The Lord is King of the ages, yea, forever and evermore. Intercede, O righteous Benedict, that grace and redemption from all my crimes be granted to me, who long to laud that praiseworthy memorial with hymns. For the house of Pharaoh was with chariots and riders went into the sea, and the Lord brought upon them the water of the sea, but the sons of Israel walked through the dry land in the midst of the sea. As a solitary thou tookest up the cross from thy childhood and didst follow after the Almighty, 
And having mortified the flesh, I was deemed worthy of life, most blessed of men. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Submitting to the law of God, O blessed Benedict, thou didst wither the uprisings of the passions with the sweat of abstinence, and wast made rich with the grace of this passion. Both now and ever in the ages of ages, amen. We who abound in corruption through thee, O all pure Mother of God, cry to thee, rejoice, thou full of grace, adornment of the righteous and just. My heart is established in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God, my mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, I am glad in thy salvation. The soul filled to the full with the divine spirits, life giving strength. For there is none holy as the Lord, there is none righteous as our God, and there is none holy beside thee, boast not, and utter not high things into excess, and let not boastful words of pride come forth from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and a God that prepareth his own ways. Make us steadfast in thee, O Lord, who by the tree has slain sin, and plant thy fear in the hearts of us who hymn thee. The bow, of the, the bow of the mighty is become weak, and the strength, strengthless have girded themselves with power. Make us steadfast in thee, O Lord, who by the tree has slain sin, and plant thy fear in the hearts of us who hymn thee. They that were full of bread are sunk into low estate, and the hungry have been rested in the land. For the barren hath borne seven, and she that abounded in children is enfeebled. Thy soul filled to the full with the divine spirit's life-giving streams, gushed forth rivers of miracles, and dried up the raging, the raging of diseases, O Benedict. The Lord slayeth and engendereth life. He bringeth down to Hades and bringeth up again. Thou hast pitched thy tent in the wide expanse of paradise, O blessed, having traveled the narrow path and straightened the villainy and unruly ways of the demons. The Lord maketh poor and enricheth. He bringeth low and lifteth up high again. Watered with the flow of thy tears, O Benedict, thou, like a fruitful tree, bearest a divine harvest of virtues and miracles by the grace of God. He raises the pauper from the earth, and from the dunghill doth he lift up the poor man to seat him with the mighty of the people, and maketh him heir of their throne of glory. When he who alone is good was incarnate, O blameless virgin, he entered thy womb, and became a perfect mortal, and treat him to save our souls. Until thy people pass over, O Lord, until thy people pass mm -hmm. over, even this thy people which thou dost take up for thine own. Mm -hmm. O Word of God, who art transcendently good, for thy tender compassion's sake, thou didst stretch out thy hands upon the cross, taking away the sin of Adam's hand, when of old it was stretched out towards the tree of knowledge. He granted his prayer to him that prayeth, and hath blessed the years of the righteous man. Establish my mind, which is shaken by the malice of the serpent. Check the provocations of passions by thy passion, who didst suffer the passion, and hast granted his passion unto the faithful. For the mighty man shall not be strong in his own strength. The Lord will weaken his adversary. The Lord is holy. The grace of the fast has shone forth, driving away the darkness of self-indulgence. Behold, an acceptable time and day of salvation. Let us show forth fruits of repentance, and we shall live. Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty man boast in his might. Let not the rich man boast in his riches. How... O uprighting of the fallen, raise me up again, who am fallen, over the precipice of pleasures, into the pits of grievous sins. O pure virgin, and guide me unto life. But in this let him that boasteth make his boast, that he hath understanding and knoweth the Lord, and that he worketh judgment and righteousness in the midst of the earth. Establish our hearts by thy cross, O Lord, not to turn away from thee unto wicked words or abominable deeds. The Lord hath gone up into the heavens and hath thunder. He will judge the ends of the earth, for he is righteous. The heaven and the earth, perceiving thy passion, O Master, were manifestly altered, making thee known as truly the King of all. And he will give strength to our kings, and he will lift up the horn of his anointed one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O all Holy Trinity, equal in honor, without beginning, life creating and life originating, unity, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, save me. Both now and ever in the ages of ages, amen. O Mother of God, who knewest no man, Thou alone givest birth to God, without being corrupted in the purity of Thy virginity, but remaining holy as Thou wast before giving birth. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee. I worship in Him Thy scarlet robe, the nails, and the cross, and the sponge, and the spear, O Jesus, which have quickened the whole world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Establish our hearts, O Lord, and enlighten us into the praise of Thee. That we may glorify Thee, O Savior, unto all the ages. We in the continuation of thoughts every day of the year. I, our Holy Father, pray upon the record of the Master, bless. Bless us, our God, always now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen.
When Moses and Aaron began to intercede before Pharaoh to let their people go, the answer to this was increased work for the oppressed Israelites, to the point that they raised an outcry against their intercessors. Ye have made our Savior abominable before Pharaoh. This is exactly what the soul of a repentant sinner experiences. When the fear of God and one's conscience, the inner Moses and Aaron, begin to inspire a soul to finally rise up onto its feet and shake off the yokish sinful slavery, joy passes through all of its members. But the enemy does not sleep. He heaps mountains of mental obstacles, such as thoughts that sin is insurmountable, and he brings in fear from all sides. Fear for one's prosperity, for external relationships, for one's influence, even for one's life. It even happens that one stops having only just begun. Be inspired, brother. The Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment, and the holy God shall be glorified in righteousness. God is stronger than the enemy. Cry out to him, and you will hear the same thing that Moses heard then. Now thou shalt see what I will do to Pharaoh. The enemy does not have power over a soul. He can only frighten it with illusory terrors. Do not give in. Endure and go forward courageously, saying to yourself, I will not give in even unto death, and I will go bravely wherever the Lord calls me with the spirit of repentance which now acts in me. The prayers of Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. To the prayers of Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Peace, let us pray. Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, Lord by the mercy. grace. Call into remembrance our Holy Immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady, to our Dogos and our Virgin Mary, to all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and over our life unto Christ Through our God. The For the art our God and unto the descent of glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. In solitude thou dwelltest in virtue and displeased God, and didst gain the grace to work healings and fearful signs and wonders. And have he raised up his sacred house and monastery, thou didst bring the Lord a great multitude of them that were saved through thee, O Benedict, thou all famed one. Glory to God who hath made thee to shine, glory to him who hath crowned thee, glory to him who worketh healings for all through thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou, O Lord, was nailed to the cross by the transgressors, and pierced in thy side with a spear by the soldiers, O my Savior, the pure virgin mourned thee bitterly, she rent inwardly with some maternal grief, and because thy dread forbearance endured so much, she cried out in her amazement, Glory under, unto thy tender love for man, glory be unto thy kindness, glory be to thee, by whose death all we mortals are freed from death. I am dear Lord, for I have heard a report, and am amazed, for thou comest even unto me, seeking me who am gone astray, Wherefore I glorify thy great condescension towards me, O thou who art plenteous in mercy. The Lord is my God and my might, and he will instruct my feet unto perfection. Crucifying thyself to the passions and the world, O godly minded Father Benedict, thou didst serve Christ, who willingly stretched out his hands upon the cross, and beseech him to save our souls. He mounted me on high that I might be victor with his song. Having mortified the members of thy flesh with struggles in abstinence, O righteous Father, thou didst raise up the dead by thy prayer. And being made wondrous through faith, thou didst grant them that were palsied to walk aright and didst heal every disease. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With thy life giving word, thou madest dry and withered souls to be fruitful, O righteous one. And with the manifestation of miracles, thou becamest a shepherd appointed by God and the fairest ornament of monks. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And the word descended into thy venerable womb like rain upon a fleece, and was incarnate, O Immaculate One, and he truly caused the rains of polytheism to cease and dispelled the bitter winter, O blameless virgin. For the dew which thou sendest, O Lord, thou bestower of light and creator of the ages, guide us in the light of thy commandments, for we know none other God than thee. For the dew which thou sendest is healing for them, but the land of the ungodly shall perish. 
The importuning God, who is abundant in mercy, thou didst fill the great vessel with oil, as Elias filled the cruz, and they that beheld marveled at thee with faith, O wise Father Benedict. Go, my people, enter thine inner chamber, shut thy door, hide thyself for a little while, until the wrath of the Lord shall pass away. Since thou wast <coughs> pure in soul, thou camest to ecstasy, and beheldest the whole earth illuminated by one ray of the God who honored thee, O blessed Benedict. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Showing forth signs in Christ with prayer, thou besoughtest the giver of good to cause water to gush forth the righteous Benedict, and this spring has remained to proclaim the wonder. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He who dwelleth in the heavens dwelt in thine all blameless womb, that he might make us who proclaim thee, as thou tokest to be dwellings of the Trinity, O Immaculate Lady. They that observe vain and false things have abandoned mercy for themselves. Shining with the brightness of the Spirit's light, thou didst allay the darkness of the evil demons, O wonder-working Benedict, thou fire-shining luminary of monks. But as for me, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving, will I sacrifice unto thee. Whatsoever I vow for my salvation, I will pay unto thee, O Lord. How glorious was thy way of life, O blessed man! How illustrious was thy venerable conversation, whereby thou drewest flocks of monks to saving knowledge. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O godly-minded Benedict, do thou, as an inhabitant of the heavenly kingdom, pray that we, whoever called thee blessed with faith, may also find the same. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. From thy holy womb, hath the never-setting Son of righteousness dawned forth, and enlightened the faithful, all him virgin Theotokos. Come, this by the abyss of my many sins, I invoke the boundless abyss, and unfathom deep of thy compassion, O my Christ, raise me out of corruption, O Lord my God. Κατηνίδιν <laughs> <laughs> Be thou entreated for the sake of the sufferings of thy saints, which they endured for thee, O Lord, and do thou heal all our pains, we pray, O friend of man. Synaxarion. On the fourteenth of this month we commemorate our righteous Father Benedict of Nursia, having checked all passion with his thoughts as with a bridle. Benedict spitted out the bit of life and the bridle. Benedict entered Elysian fields on the fourteenth. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr Alexander of Pydney. Since he cannot endure the loss of the laurels, Alexander the loss of his head endureth. On this day, we commemorate the righteous father Evshimon, the confessor, bishop of Lampsacus. Well might Paul have said that Evshimon, before dying, walked nobly as in the day as his name declareth. On this day, we commemorate St. Rostislav, great prince of Kiev, who in holy baptism was renamed Michael. On this day we commemorate our Father among the Saints, Theognostus, Metropolitan of Kiev and all Russia. On this day we celebrate the synaxis of the Feodorovskaya icon of the Most Holy Theotokos. By the intercessions of the Saints of God, have mercy on us. Amen. In time past, the children, those ardent lovers of wisdom, showed themselves eloquent, for from divine inspired souls they discoursed on God and sang with their lips, O transcendent God of our fathers and our God, blessed art thou. Blessed art thou upon the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, thou who art supremely praised and supremely exalted unto the age. Thou didst obtain life, giving mortification by abstention from pleasures. Wherefore thou wast deemed worthy to raise the dead, O blessed Benedict, being marveled at by all the faithful, like the great Elias. Blessed art thou in the firmament of the heaven, thou who art supremely praised and supremely exalted unto the ages. By the holy labors thou didst assemble a fold of innumerable monks, which ever abideth, made secure with the wall of thy protection, since it is obedient to those things prescribed aright by thee, O worthy of wonder. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In their folly the senseless thought to slay thee with evil poisons, O blessed Benedict, protected though thou wast by the divine hand of the Maker of all, by the day were put to shame, laid bare by the foreknowledge of the Spirit that was in thee. Both now and reverence the ages of ages. Amen. Heal the passions of my soul, O Virgin, with its conceived the wellspring of this passion, and grant me showers of compunction to procure me consolation yonder, O Holy Theotokos. 
Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, supreme exaltment to the ages. Bless the Lord, ye angels of the Lord, and ye heavens of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Bless the Lord, all ye waters above the heavens, and all ye powers of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Bless the Lord, O sun and moon, and ye stars of heaven. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Bless the Lord, every rain and dew, and all ye winds. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Bless the Lord, fire and heat of burning, winter cold and summer heat. O oh, praise the Lord, supremely exalt him unto the ages. Blessed to the Lord God, who did descend to the Hebrew children in the fiery furnace, and did transform the flames and the burning heat into the chant praises and hymns of all your works of his, and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. Blessed Lord, O falls of dew and snow, O ice and cold, O oh, praise the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. To the Lord God, who did descend to the Hebrew children in the fiery furnace, and did transform the flames and the burning heat into dew, chant praises and hymns all of your works of his, and exalt him greatly to ages and all ages. Bless the Lord, O hoar frost and snows, O lightnings and clouds, O praise ye the Lord, as you can exalt him to the ages. Reigning in Christ as a king over the corrupting passions of God and minded Father, thou wast deemed worthy to dwell in the kingdom of the heavens with all who have passed their lives well and have loved the all-seeing God. Bless the Lord, O light and darkness of nights and days. O praise you, the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. God, accepting thy holy prayers through thee, provided the necessities of life for those in need, glorifying thee greatly upon the earth with the working of miracles. O thrice blessed Benedict. Bless the Lord, O earth, mountains, and hills, and all things that spring up therein. O praise you, Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Made fair with the beauty of the divine virtues, O Father, thou wast translated unto the beautiful bright chambers to be with God and to delight in his divine beauty unto the endless ages. Bless the Lord, O fountains and seas and rivers, O monsters of the sea, and all things that move in the waters. O praise the Lord, as supreme exalt him unto the ages. Behold, as Isaiah cried, a child is born of thee, O pure virgin, even the Son of the Most High, and he is seen to be thy Son, making them that praise thee to be sons of the Heavenly Father. Bless the Lord, all you winged creatures of the sky, O beasts and all cattle. O praise the Lord, as supreme exalt him unto the ages. <coughs> O Thou who through the multitude of Thy mercy this deign to be reckoned among the transgressors, to the blood of my sins, that with faith I may glorify Thee unto all the ages. Bless the Lord, ye sons of men, let Israel bless the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. Rent asunder the handwriting of my sins with Thy spear, O Lord, and heal the sorrows of my heart, which is wounded by the evil demon's arrow of wickedness. Bless the Lord, ye priests of the Lord, ye servants of the Lord. O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. O my Christ, my heart is blackened by the filthy gore of sin. Wash it clean with thy blood, dropping from thy side, that I may glorify thee unto all the ages. Bless, Lord, ye spirits and ye souls of the righteous, ye saints, and ye that be humble of heart, O praise ye the Lord, and supremely exalt him unto the ages. O Virgin, who without husbandry brought us forth the heavenly ear of wheat, which with divine power sustaineth, sustaineth the whole world, fill my lowly soul in its hunger. But, Bless the Lord, ye spirits of the Lord and of the righteous, ye saints, and ye that be humble of heart. Praise the Lord, who can exalt unto the ages. Rejoice, O cross, through which a thief in one moment was recognized to be a theologian, crying out, Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Of his portion do thou make us to be communicants. Bless the Lord, O Ananias and Azarias and Mishael. O praise ye the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. When thou wast pierced with a spear, thou didst turn away the flaming sword of Christ, and this open paradise unto mortals again. And as we enter therein, we forever delight in, in thine immortal life. Bless the Lord, ye apostles, prophets, and martyrs of the Lord. O praise the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. Bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Lord, we praise the Lord, supreme exalt him unto the ages. With the, with the Father we worship the Son and the Holy Spirit in one essence, with mouths of clay unceasingly crying out, Glory in the highest to God in Trinity. Both, both now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Thou alone bearest a child while remaining a virgin, O grace of God. Great is the mystery, terrible the prodigy, for thou gavest birth to God, the incarnate Savior of the world. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O cross of Christ, thou hope of the ends of the earth, deem us worthy to pass serenely through the sea of the fairest fast by thy helmsmanship, saving us from the swelling waves of our failings. Praise, we bless and we worship the Lord, through the Lord, 
to the Lord who appeared when he condescended in the flame, unto the children of the Hebrews with divine strength. We praise, O ye priests, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. For it looked upon the lowliness of his handmaiden, and behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, more honorable than the cherubim. And beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, he without corruption gave his fruit to God the word, the very Theotokos, the doing magnified. What a piece of Megalio in a toski, I don't know if to get to a little soft to his guinea and king in the end is for men is of tone. Tin Timio Ter and Don Cherubim, Ken Oxoter and a singrit or some seraphim. Tin are the author of the Lord and the Cosan, Tinon the Theotokon, Semegalin, O man. He has shown strength with his army, has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. More honorable than the Cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the Seraphim. Thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, the Dewey Magnified. <laughs> Yet hope and his servant is real remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee without corruption give his birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. With one accord, let us faith the Lord with hymns God, the word came forth from God, who inevitably took on flesh from a pure virgin for us, and in wisdom past telling descended to make Adam new again, who by eating fell grievously down into corruption's pits. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and wrought redemption for his people. With one accord, let us faith the Lord with hymns God, the word who came forth from God, who inevitably took on flesh from a pure virgin for us. And wisdom past telling descended to make Adam new again, who by eating fell grievously down into corruption's pits. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Thou as, as the great sun, lighting creation with dread signs, and the shining rays the virtues of God bearer. For this cause we keep that memorial which veritably beameth with splendor, and we are enlightened in the senses of our hearts of Father Benedict. As he spake by the mouth of his holy ones, the prophets of old. The flocks of monks assembled by thee extol thee day and night, having in their midst thy body, which is bounteously, which bounteously gushes forth rivers of miracles, and unceasingly enlighteneth their steps, O wise Father. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Thou hast flashed brighter than the rays of the Son of Father, having performed God's commandments, and thou hast translated into the light that hath no even tide, where thou intercedest the forgiveness of sins be granted to those who faithfully honor thee, O celebrated Benedict to deal mercifully with our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. O Virgin, thou birth giver of the light, drive the clouds from my soul and grant me clearly to reflect the saving beauty from the ineffably shown from that all holy womb as a light for the nations of all him, lady. The oath which he swore to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we be delivered out of the hand of our enemies. When he had fasted, Eliseus raised up a dead child as it is written, and we, when we fast, let us be urgent to deaden the carnal mind, O ye faithful, that we may attain to the life beyond. That we might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Woe unto thee, O soul, terrible is the judgment seat, and dreadful the decision of the judge. Make haste, repent, be reconciled to Christ, who for thee was hung upon the cross, and hath rescued the faithful from condemnation. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the Most High, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. 
Open to me the gates of repentance. Shut off the ent- entries of my passions, O Christ, who by thy crucifixion didn't show the thief to didn't show the thief the entry to paradise to be e- easy to ascend, that I may glorify thy goodness. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins through the bowels of the mercy of our God. Since I am cast away into the depths of wickedness and am tossed about by adverse thoughts, persuaded by demons and enthralled to pleasures, help me, O pure Virgin Mother, and guide me to the way of salvation. Whereby the day spring from on high has visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and the shadow of death. Mm-hmm. Thou willingly gavest thyself up and broughtest thyself to thy murderers. Thou didst stand before the tribunal, smitten by hands thou hast fashioned. Thou wast crucified, thou wast mocked, thou wast pierced with his spear, O Lord. Thou didst suffer in the body, bearing all things in thy compassion, that thou mightest save us. To guide our feet into the way of peace. The companies of angels trembled, beholding thee upon the cross. The luminaries withdrew their light, and the earth quaked. All things were shaken at the insolence against thee, O Lord. By thy divine sufferings, O God, thou hast wrought salvation for us. Both now and ever, and with the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By essence, the transcendently divine Trinity is an indivisible unity. United in nature, he is divided in persons individually. For without being severed, he is severed. Being one, he is three. This is the Father, the Son, and the Living Spirit, which pr- protecteth the whole world. Both now and ever the ages of ages. Amen. Who ever heard of a child-bearing virgin, a mother without a man? Thou, O Mar- Mariam, performest the wonder, but tell me how came it to pass. Search not the depths of my giving birth to a child. In all truth, to comprehend this is beyond the understanding of man. Glory to thee, o our God, glory to thee. By thy wounding are we all healed from the passions of sins. For when thou wast raised up upon the cross, thou didst wound the enemy, the originator of evil. But thee most worthy when we have passed through the season of the fast, uncondemned, to attain also unto the resurrection. <clears throat> On Mount Sinai, Moses beheld thee in the bush, who unburned its receive in thy womb the fire of the Godhead. Daniel beheld thee as an impugned mountain, as a cried of thee, as the rod that budded from the root of David. <laughs> it is truly me to call thee blessed, the Theotokos, the ever blessed, and all immaculate mother of our mother of our God. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim, be without corruption give us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos. Again, again, peace and the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Calling to remember us, our holy Immaculate, most holy Theotokosiva. Let us commit ourselves to one another and all our life unto Christ. To our the Lord. Lord, the host of the heavens, praise thee and unto thee, the we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, who makest the light to dawn, cleanse my soul ever restrained by the power of thy cross, O Lord, and save me. O Lord, who makest the light to dawn, cleanse my soul of every sin by the power intercessions of, of the hierarch, O Lord, and save me. <coughs> o Lord, who makest the light to dawn, cleanse my soul of every sin, by the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Lord, and save me. Unto thee, glory to O Lord our God, and to thee, do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, God, Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, that takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, thou that takes away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us, for thou only, O Holy, thou only, O Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every day will I bless thee and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been a refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, unto thee I fled for refuge, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, and thy life shall we see light. 
O continue thy mercy unto them to know thee. God to the Lord to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name in the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, grant me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One. Enlighten me by thy statutes, O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever. Disdain not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due song, unto thee glory is due. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask for Grant Lord. this, O Lord. An angel of peace and faith for God, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask Grant for Grant this, O Lord. For the remission of our sins and offenses. Let us ask Grant for Grant this, O Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask for the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life. Life in peace and repentance, let us Grant ask this, the Lord, O Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask Grant the Lord. this, O Lord. Our Lord and our Holy Immaculate, most holy, most holy that the go save us. Let us commit ourselves and to one another and all our life unto Christ. To our God. Thee, O Lord. For God, mercy and compassion and love from men are thou, and unto the recent thy glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto God. And to thy Spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To Thee. For thine is to have mercy and to save us, our God. And unto thee we send our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> o Lord, who by thy cross hast undone that which was brought into the world through the eating of the tree in paradise, which thou Of the Lord our God be upon us, and the works of our hands of the God are right upon us, 
is the work of our hands, do thou God aright. The offering prize winners have proved to be luminaries of the whole world, crying unto Christ, O Lord, glory be to Thee. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and ever, <coughs> the ages of ages, Amen. When the all immaculate fell, Toko saw thee willingly nailed to the tree. As she lamented, she praised thy dominion. Give praise unto the Lord, and to chant unto thy name, O Most High, to proclaim the morning day, mercy and thy truth by night. Peace be the despot, all the godly, mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy us, all the godly, mighty, holy, immortal, and mercy us. Holy God, the mighty, holy, immortal, and merciless, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. As we stand in the temple of thy glory, we reckon ourselves to be standing in heaven, until thou so heavenly gate, open unto us the portal of thy mercy. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord of 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 mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever in the ages of ages of men, more honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare and glorious than the seraphim. He without corrupting gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, the theory magnified. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Blessed is he who is in Christ, our true God, always now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, make steadfast our sacred sin, establish the faith, subdue the nations, give peace to the, to the world, guard well this sacred monastery and town, appoint our fathers and brethren who are gone before us a place in tabernacles of the just, and accept us in repentance and confession for the Lord, good and the friend of men. O Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, curiosity, ambition, and idle talk, give me not. But a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love bestow upon me, thy servant. Yea, O Lord, King, grant me to see my own failings, and not to condemn my brother, for bless her down to the ages of ages. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Yea, O Lord King, grant me to see my own failings, and not to condemn my brother, for blessed are down to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us wish me fall down before King God. O come, let us wish me fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship me, fall down before him, Christ, the King, and our God. Under my word, give ear, Lord, hear my cry, attend the voice, my supplication, my King and my God, from the will I pray, O Lord, in the morning, should I hear my voice in the morning, shall I stand before thee, and not just look upon me, for not the God of lists, iniquity are thou. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgressors abide before thine eyes. Thou hast hated all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy them that speak a lie. Man is bloody and deceitful, so the Lord of forbid us from me in a multitude. Thy mercy shall I go into thy house, I shall worship for thy holy temple in fear of thee. 
O oh Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness, because of mine enemies. Make sweet my way before thee, for in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, where their tongues so have spoken deceitfully. Judge them, O oh God. Let them fall down on the count of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness. Cast them out, for they have embittered thee, O oh Lord, and let all them be glad. I hope in thee they shall ever rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them, and all shall glory in thee. That love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous, O Lord, is for the shield of the good pleasure, as O crowned us. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation, and generation before the mountains came to be, and the earth was formed, and the world even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn not man away in the lowliness, yea, thou hast said, Turn back, ye sons of men, for a thousand years in thine eyes, Lord, abide. O Lord, as but as yesterday that is watch, that is past and is watching the night, things are no account to the years be it the morning like grass, and man pass away, in the morning shall they bloom and pass away, in the evening shall they fall and grow withered and dry. For we have fainted away in thy wrath, and in an anger have we been troubled, thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life spent in the light of thy countenance, for all our days are faded away, and in thy wrath we fainted away, our years like a spider has spun out their tail. As for the days of our years, and their span to be threescore years and ten, and if we be in strength, may have fourscore years, and what is more than these, this toil and travail for mildness has come upon us, and we shall be chastened. Who knoweth the might of the wrath, and not a fear of thee, who can recount thine anger, so make thy right hand known to me, and to them that in the heart are instructed in wisdom, return, O Lord, I long and be thou entreated concerning thy servants. We are filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoice and we're glad. In all our days, let us be glad, for the days were not as humble us, for the years when we saw evils, and look upon thy servants, and upon thy works, do thou guide their sons, and let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us, and works of our hands, do thou guide a right upon us, yea, the work of our hands, do thou guide a right of mercy and judgment, when I sing unto thee. <coughs> O Lord, I will chant and have understanding and a blameless path. When will I come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart have not cleaved unto me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him was I was proud and his heart insatiated. I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land that they might sit with me. The man that walked in a blameless path and ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly destroyed all the city of the Lord, all them at work iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever, and unto the ages of the Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have mercy me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God, have merc
Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and a God of mercy, in us and save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God, our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. So prois acus an disponis mu vasiles mu keotheos mu. Unto my words give ear, O Lord, hear my cry. In the morning hearken unto my voice, O my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning heart, and unto my voice, O my King and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever into the ages of ages of men, which shall be called thee, O full of grace, and for thou hast made the Son of Righteousness, who dawned forth paradise, for thou hast brought forth the flowers of mortality, virgin, for thou hast remained and corrupt. Your mother, for thou hast held in a holy embrace, your son, who is the God of all thee, thou entreat him to save our souls. Tavia vimata mukata finon katato logi on suke mi kakata kiri of satomu pasano mia. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Litro se me aposico pandi asatropon kifilax o tas and olasu. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I will keep thy compassion. The pros upon su epiphon on epiphon dulon su kevi laxon meta dikeo matasu. Make thy faces shine upon thy servant, teach me thy statutes. Clear of it, to stoma mu and essay of su kiri er, opus himni sotin dogs and su, all in kindi merat in megalo prepi and su. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may him thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may him thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and unto the ages of ages of men, O Holy Trinity, of mercy in us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visiting healer and infirmities for the name's sake, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto the ages of ages of men. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Be quick to anticipate our foes, ever we being slain by them that blaspheme thee, and menace us with their threats, O merciful of Christ our God. By thy cross, defeat them that oppose us, that we that they may know how mighty is the faith of Orthodox Christians through the pure mother's prayers for us all, O only friend of man. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy,
Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, the uncomparable glory, and the seraphim, be without corruption, give us for to God the word of very theotokosy to be magnified in the name of the Lord, Master Blood. Amen. 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 Πνεύμα της οφροσύνης, ταπεινοφροσύνης, υπομονής και αγάπης, χάρη σε μη τόσο δούλο. <Κι> ναι, Κύριε Βασιλεύ, δόρισέ με του ουράντα με απτέσματα και μη κατακρίνει τον αδερφό μου, ότι ευδογητός εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Ο, Θεό, ο Θεός ηλάς τιμή το μαρτωλό. Ο Θεός ελάς 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 τιμή το μαρτωλό και λέει σόντε. Ναι, Κύριε Βασιλεύ, δόρισέ με του αράντα με απτέσματα και μη κατακρίνουν τον αδερφό μου, ότι ευλογητός εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Is flight in despotal, for the God of the many holy mortal mercy in us, for the God of the many holy mortal mercy in us, for the God of the many holy mortal mercy in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity of mercy in us, Lord, be gracious in our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, and and heal our infirmities, for the name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. O Christ, the true light, who dost enlighten and sanctify every man that cometh into the world, let the light of thy countenance be signed upon us that in it we may behold the unapproachable light and guide our steps in the performance of thy commandments by the intercessions of the Holy Immaculate Mother and of all thy saints. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ, the King and our God. Pardon the Lord into my righteousness, attend unto my supplication, give ear to my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips, from before they face up my judgment, come forth on my night, and fold up brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in night, thou hast tried me by fire, and in righteousness was not found in me, that my mouth might not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words of thy lips, have I kept the ways of the heart, set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, inclining near to me, and hearkened unto my words, let thy mercies be made wonderful, of thou that save us in thy hope and deep, and in thy verse, to thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings, for thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly, which have oppressed me, mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out and now encircle me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as mighty lion and ready for his prey, and as mighty lion spelt with wealth and hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels, deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemy is thy hand, O Lord, from thy feet, do thou separate them from the earth and their life. Yea, with the hidden treasures of their belly been filled, they have satisfied themselves with swine and fed the remnants to their babes. But as for me in righteousness shall I appear before thy face, I shall be filled and thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, ever lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted, let me never be put to shame, nor let mine enemies not be to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on thee be put to shame. Let them be ashamed which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Leave me thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God, my Savior, from thee have I waited all day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting the sins of my youth and my ignorance. This remember not according to thy mercy. Remember thou me, for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law from the mess in a way. He would guide to me in judgment. He would teach to me his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth, and in him I seek under his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of the name of the Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. 
The Lord has strengthened them, I fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are over toward the Lord, for he it is. Thou draw my feet out of the snare, look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one, only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my lowliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust hatred they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have believed unto me, for I have waited on thee. O Lord, redeem us, Lord God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy good mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blood of my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, my sin is over before me. Against the only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that the mightiest be justified and the words of prevail nor judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquity, sin and sins of my mother bear me. For behold, thou love truth, the hidden secret things of the wisdom must have been manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness to bones to be humble. They shall rejoice, turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Created me a clean heart, O God, and renew right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy holy spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, where the governing spirit establish me. I shall teach my discussers thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it with hope and offering, so I shall not be pleased. To sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, and humble God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure in the sign, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shall they be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the oblation, home and offering, and shall they offer looks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, put down over unto the age of David, Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me. Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and O God of mercy, me,
Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, me, Lord Jesus Christ, and God of mercy, me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the age to age. Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Our hope, O oh Lord, glory be to thee. Kyrie to Panagi on Shukna, my and he treat, he orat, he suffers to Apostoli Sukat of Pemsas, to to Agathe, me and the Nelly Sophimon, Nalengeni Sonny, me, this day, O Manly Su. I create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O Lord, who at the third hour did send down thine Holy Spirit upon thine apostles, take not him from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O Lord, who at the third hour descend down thine all Holy Spirit upon thine apostles, take not him from us, O good one, but renew him in us who pray unto thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the Lord's hour to fruit, find have blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. We supplicate to intercede, O Lady, together with the apostles and all the saints that are souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation, so prosperous along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. He's filled with the despot of the God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, mercy, and us, holy God, holy, mighty, holy, holy, mortal, mercy, and us, holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, mercy, and us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, for grace us, and our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities, holy one, visit and heal our infirmities, for the name's sake, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but now, and of unto the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who has shown forth the fishermen as supremely wise, by sending down upon them the Holy Spirit, who through them to destroy the world, and to thy net, O perfender of man, glory be to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Grant thou speedy and lasting consolation unto thy servants of Jesus when our spirits are despondent. Be thou not parted from our souls when they be in affliction. Be thou not, be thou not far from our minds when we are in perils, but do thou ever anticipate our needs. Draw nigh unto us, draw nigh, thou who art everywhere present. And even as thou art ever with thine apostles, do thou thus also unite unto thyself us who, for, who long for thee, O compassionate one, that being united with thee, we may praise and glorify thine all holy spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. The hope and protection and refuge of Christians, the unassailable battle in the storm free haven of the weary, art thou immaculate, thou took us be thou, but uh, thou savest the world by thine unceasing intercessions. Remember us also all in virgin, Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven on earth have worshipped and glorified, O Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, and loveless of righteousness, mercy, and sinners who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers to this hour and guide our life towards thy commandments, sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with the holy angels, are guided and guarded by their array, may attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the unimportable glory, and blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim of the unconfirmable grace, and the seraphim of the good offered option. Give us birth to God, the word, the very thing, to be magnified in the name of the Lord, Master Blessed. God be gracious unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, and have mercy on us. Amen. The Lord and Master of my life, a spirit of idleness, curiosity, ambition, and idle talk, give me not. But a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love bestow upon me, thy servant. Yea, O Lord, King, grant me to see my unfailings and not to condemn my brother, for blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. O 
Oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner. 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 O oh God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Yea, O Lord King, grant me to see mine own failings, and not to condemn my brother. For blessed are thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Is delighted as for the God of the Mary, holy mortal of mercy, not for the God of the Mary, holy mortal of mercy, not for the God of the Mary, holy mortal of mercy, not for the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and over unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious unto our sins, master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visiting heal our infirmities for the name's sake, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and unto the ages of ages, amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, so it be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 O Sovereign Master, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Thou, Holy Spirit, one God, had one power, have mercy on me, a sinner. And by the judgments which Thou knowest, save me, Thine unworthy servant, for bless our land to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O Christ, God of hope, glory to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy, Holy Master, bless. Christ, our true God, by the intercessions of His Holy Immaculate, and Omnis, O Blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the honor to thy giving Christ, by the protection of the Venerable Heaven, and by those powers, by the supplications of the Venerable Glorious Prophet, for honor and Baptist John, O the Holy and Glorious and Alpha and the Apostles, Peter and Paul, the Chiefs of Twelve and the Seventy of our Father among the Saints, Nicholas of Myra and Lisha, O the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George, the Trophy Bear, Demetrius, the Mere Streaming, O the Holy Glorious and Triumphant Victorious Martyrs of our Righteous and God bearing Fathers, Clement and Naum of Oakley, the Wonder Workers, Seraphim of Seraph, Herman of Alaska, Innocent and Germanali of Alaska, Tikhon the Confessor, Patriarch of Moscow, Peter the Allot, O of our fathers among the saints and new confessors, Philip of New York, Glicaria, from many a Christmas tomb of glory, now of our righteous mothers, Xenia and Teresia, the Fools of Christ's sake, of our holy patron John Maximovich, Archbishop of San Francisco, the wonder worker, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of our righteous father, Benedict of Nursia, whose memory we keep on of all the saints, may have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the friend of man. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. We will take thee long to repent, O my poor soul. The judgment is at hand. The fire is made ready for thy members. All the days of my life have I wallowed in the sea of evil, and I did not lament my sins, and all at once death will place its shackles upon me. Satan has seduced me, and having bound me with mine own desires, he has taken me into captivity and ruthlessly cast me to the ground. Alas, what shall I do now? Do thou, O righteous judge, Disgrace the evil one who wars against me and who secretly sets out his cunning snares for me when I wish to repent. Be my helper, O most merciful Lord, and I will rise up and mock him. I will tear apart all his snares. Woe is me in that day when thou, O Lord, will judge sinners. Oh, may I not then be ashamed before the hosts of angels. Be anxious and tremble, O my soul. Pray to the Lord and say to him, Have mercy on me, O my Savior, and rescue me, for I have wallowed in vice. I am like the harlot, and am ashamed to pray to thee. Save me by thy grace, O Lord, from Gehenna. The day of the Lord will suddenly shine forth for all creation, and the righteous will come out to meet the Lord with burning lamps. But I am in darkness. There is no oil in my lamp that I, may meet, that I might meet the bridegroom when he comes. My spirit trembles when it hears that the day of judgment is at hand. My thoughts become agitated when I consider the fire that awaits the lawless. According to the kindness which is merciful to sinners, have mercy on me who have perished, and I will sing thy praises when thy kingdom comes. May thy cross accompany me during that dread crossing. May it drive the powers of darkness away from me. May it, may it be for me the key that opens the gates of paradise, that I may enter into bliss. Rejoice and glorify thy compassion, O most merciful one.
Receive the supplication of our sinners, O Christ God, and have mercy on us. For the mercy will be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Eternal be the memory of the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy monastery and of all our fathers and brethren who have gone to the rest before us. Like a spiritual day, star in heaven's firmament, that it's encompassed the whole world and its enlightened missiles. Hence thy name is glorified throughout the east and west, for thou didst shine forth with the grace of the Son of Righteousness, O John, our beloved shepherd. Wherefore cease not to entreat Christ, that he show mercy and redeem our souls. To the prayers of Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy on you. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy on you. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy on you. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy on you. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy on you. Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, have mercy on you. 